Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in 2015, when Microsoft released Windows 10, as many of you will know, they rolled out the new Windows settings app and menu uh, to start replacing uh, features in the uh, legacy control panel. Now, um, the, the settings menu is also available in Windows 11, um, but has taken on a more modern look and feel to match that of Windows 11 and also has um, a couple of new options and features. But nonetheless, with Windows 10 and the settings app, uh, Microsoft started taking a lot of the and migrating a lot of the um, features, preferences and tools and, and so on and migrating those into the new settings menu in Windows 10. And um, over the last year or so, um, Microsoft started to test once again moving some of these preferences and tools um, in the Windows 11 Insider program from the uh, legacy control panel into the settings menu uh, in Windows 11. And as I did post on um, previously, some of those changes were uh, they were testing moving storage spaces from the control panel to the settings menu. And then also they were um, and had moved uh, the programs and features list and the um, uninstall updates in the legacy control panel to the settings app. And that was in an earlier dev channel build. Now, um, in both Windows 10 and 11, as many of you will know, you get your apps, apps and features list where all the um, software and the apps and applications are listed that are installed um, uh, in your operating system. Now, uh, in that regard, last week, um, as I did post on Microsoft, rolled out their latest dev channel build 25169. And one of the uh, new options and features listed in the release notes, which I did touch on briefly when I did post that video last week on build 25169, but just to dive a little bit more deeper into for the purposes of this video, is that it's once again, uh, Microsoft is starting to test moving some of those control panel options to the settings menu once again. And they say uh, that settings now supports managing apps which were earlier only supported from control panel. This includes uninstallation of apps which have interdependencies, repair and modifying of Win32 apps and applications. And then they give an example here, Steam and gaming apps running on Steam. So that's the change. And once again, from some of the options moving from control panel once again to uh, the settings app in Windows 11, currently being tested in build 25169. Now, the long and the short of that um, little par paragraph and new feature is that um, currently some apps can be removed only using the control panel uh, in Windows 11 and both Windows 10. But um, at this stage, only some apps can be removed using the control panel uh, um, only as the settings app um, is not able to uh, recognize um, certain Windows apps. That includes Win32 desktop apps and applications. So um, the change in build 25169 now means that um, in that build, you are now able to remove um, Win32 apps using the settings app, where previously you could only do that using the legacy control panel. So you can also remove apps that have interdependencies, as mentioned, from the um, settings app now in that latest dev channel build. And as that example was mentioned in the release notes, um, Steam and gaming apps that have interdependencies. And another um, uh, change just to make a note of is that it's also now possible to repair or modify Win32 programs using the settings app in build 25169 now as well. But as mentioned, um, Microsoft has, um, you know, over the years moved one or two um, of the uh, control panel um, options into the settings menu and as posted over the last year has tested moving and is still testing moving some more. So um, at this stage where the control panel is concerned, though, I think it's not going to disappear anytime soon. Um, I think it's still going to be around for a couple of years, although Microsoft is testing moving some of the options and features. But as I always say with Microsoft, only time will tell. So um, at this stage, it's hard to know if they're actually going to do away completely with the legacy control panel and just use the um, new modern settings app or if they will still have to um, kind of go back and forth for a while between the to the control panel and the settings app. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.